you very much. People power. Our power. NUP. Everywhere. Eh, vibe ungeli wa gulunyo wa nange. Uh, Mr. President, uh, fellow leaders, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for moving from glory to glory. I see that now this convention is even greater, better organized than last year's convention. So we want to appreciate you so much for the work you do, for everything that uh, you comrades do. And thank you for sending a very strong message this evening to the dictatorship back home that yes, you guys are in the struggle for liberation. If there are any spies here, I'm sure there are some spies here. They normally send some spies amongst us. Uh, let them write a report that yes, we were there and we found very, very organized people who are determined to remove the dictatorship back home. I really want to, uh, first of all, appreciate the leadership uh, of uh, Canada. Very, very great women and men, of course, but at the top we have two wonderful ladies who have done a great, great, great job. So please, a round of applause for <laughs> Nakato and Doreen. Thank you so much for the great work you do, Mulangi Dajuko, and the entire team. Thank you very much. And thank you for warmly receiving us and making all of us very comfortable here. Uh, we appreciate you for that. Uh, the other thing I'll talk about today is uh, encouraging you, comrades, to continue doing what you do and to say that what you do actually has consequences. You now see that the ambassador is about to pack her bags and go back home because of the work. Doing. That shows that every effort, everything you do matters. And do not undermine yourself, do not underlook yourself. Know that whatever little thing you do every day, like somebody here said, every time you wake up and do something to advance a struggle for freedom and democracy, the regime back home is going down by bounds and bounds and bounds. So do not undermine your effort. What I want to encourage you to do is to do whatever you do excellently. It is Martin Luther King who told us that if you're sweeping on the streets, sweep the streets so well that the angels in heaven will say, there live the street sweeper who swept the streets so well. So if you are a media person, if you are a protester, if whatever you do, give it your best, Give it your best energy. And I don't want you to think that you're in this country by mistake. Every time I come here, I, or even everywhere I go into the diaspora, I find myself quoting a scripture. And today I'll, talk, I'll take you to the book of Esther, where this man told Esther that, who knows why you came to the kingdom for such a time as this. And he told Esther that if you do not speak out on behalf of these oppressed people, some, the help of these people will come from elsewhere. But your, your fathers, your mothers, and your other people will surely perish. And that is the same message that we get from here. Who knows why you are in Canada at such a time as this? It is not by mistake. All of you know your stories and how you ended up here. And I want to encourage you to every day wake up asking yourself, what can I do? And I want to give you encouragement. We have seen dictators come tumbling down because of the work of the diaspora. In Sudan, the diaspora played a very big role in bringing down the regime, the dictatorship. And you can talk about many, many other examples. Honorable Zake was here talking about how Museveni re relied so much on the diaspora to bring down the regimes of the day. So let's get better organized let us continue working very hard every day to bring down the dictatorship back home. Of course, even as I speak, I want to invite my brother here. Because you are one of the people who has just uh, come to Canada. Many of you know the story of this guy here. But I want to give him a minute. 
Da chikemu yoka Buli lawa na bantu Ebya kutuka ko Wajotia wano People power Our power, Our power. Our power. Mwebale nyo omule mugwe mukola gwe mutusa ku na Uganda abenja ulo abatamanyi mugaso gwa mwe muri ba manyi nyo no kusinga abantu bonna abwe mulaba abaine mmundu abo mubasinga omugaso nyo mwebale tuluwanira mwebale tubelirawo ne chemba saba chemba manya mugeze ko nyo okuzamba kulembeze ababa twala amanyi baitambuzi obwa manyi bwe mutamanya bwe mutajamanya ne mugeze ko nyo obaza mu amanyi ne subi no kulabanga nga temba kwa tanyo subi echantu kako baganda bange bampamba mwami mu seven nge manyi bya zakola nambu zawo nantwale naku nantwale okuvanyimalo vanyimalo myeze na nambu zawo na turugunya nge mwabira ba manya ga bampita alex oba mwabuli ako store iyo kaliyo wa alex yenze go batu chalinga Ida present ya vayo na mpostinga mungeri enja ulo ila ya nyamba nyo okuwa mkomira ngei muulira ngei mchimanyi. Na iba ganda bange chemba sawa chirichimu. Binji bantu usako bantu lugunya okunzi jamu amanyo okunkuba nga obimanyi oku. Chizibu chabanyo nyo na eche mba mmanya present mu seven mubi eche sembe oda. Uwe nju kile mbira jina ita mdaba nga. Stole nzibu nyona ye. Chenye nzo bagamba chirichi mjaga mmanye mwe abaina otasa Uganda. Temu guwa mmanye. Buli unaku mplani nge mwavuka mwe nabali wano. Mkweze chance yu. Tusokula banga tase guanga. Nebi antusu wako binji nyo. Emu binsu wazango umuntu wabiyo gira. Babi suwaza. Chizibu chabanyo nyula. Kuba msevi ni atufuki demboli imba ira. Ajagamba, chagulanyi chino, chagulanyi chino. Chini yatenga ya bikula nze kenyini. Bia uliya yibu ogele yibu babi ntu usako. Na ata babi ntu usako. Mumanyi bamu ita major tomu wa SFC. Buli chenjo gira ya chintu usako. Musajia mkulu maje ya soma ila uliya chichi wa China. Ulaba angaba nangi. Pia kula bichambirele. Chagulanyi mwenye respect ni muamiru bongo yonu. Family yangi waluwe mkubile si mwechilo. Tebeba kaba na abasajja bane muinzo bilange byokusaga fetufu na kubude ntwe baka ne bano tebeba ka ne tuba mukombera bagamba wachi bano tebajja kubala ambulako ne yate basobola tebasobola abali abasajja batemba ganda bange nze gwe mula abane basako wansi ndi bampanika amagulu mu banga oyo major tom yenyini nansi yaga chenyizo kubagamba naje katunda wa amanyi katunda abuyinza na sodo ve Uganda mu mbera yonna Jinaisem, ne mwebale kutusabira mumbira wena mugeze yuko nyoku za mbubi waini amani. Ne rubongo wena mwela mkulubongo ya. Wena malo kuyo gira ko nga emanyi ni baje waka okunchi makatundanya mba nga umanyi fe tuliba futu soja. Tuliba amani nyono kusinga hawa inde mundu wakupate mutula wa mwana. Tuliba amani nyo tuliba anja ulo. Wena malo biyo gira ko mkamera nga present ya mpise. Bale ta nga omanyi ba SFC bano flying squad yakuliruwa yakuliruwa SFC ma yakuliruwa bilonji ne ne SFC ne CI yakuliruwa damulira ne bajjo kunona okuntwala chena kula mukama na nyamba na sobola kuduka era na van Nairobi okujja wanenu mwebale kuzamba bantu manyi mugeze ko nyo okuwagira NUP no mutima go nana omukwanyi ogusinga Mwe bale nyo, mwe bale ndala. Mwe bale nyo, mumukubire ngale ndala banange. Njagala ne bodayo. Njagala manye nti victims mu chikumi omuyeka yafuna strength okuvayo na yogera. Abasinga tebasobola kuogera. Abasinga tebasobola kuogera kubanga regime wetu bwekola. So Mwade mwilaba social media that men and women are raped in those torture chambers. And this is one of the victims. We have a netumutu ala mudu alido neba confirminga, nchiba mrepinga. So, you need to understand that we tuli muu biya dala. Wano, nina esapule mujimanyi ya achireo. Mbamu wamba, neba musikambula, chino chechasi garao. And they didn't care. 
at all. So I am very glad that you comrades have organized that memorial for our people. Please know that our people are suffering and that we must do everything possible to redeem our country. That is a reason. I mean, there are many other torture victims here. Abamu, walu mchala wano, bamu raping na ye. Na ye ansabye, simogira ko. Na ye, bamu wamba, awa siye maine bamu tuwala. Na akomao, nga bamu isizao winyo nyo, ilaba sao, neba confirminga. So that is the situation back home. Meaning that when you're out there protesting, when you're out there doing whatever you're doing, when you're contributing to the struggle, please think about those people. You have an opportunity. Because where you are, you are not scared that uh, you'll find a drone parked in, in front of your house. So what excuse do you have not to do whatever you have to do? Remain united. The dictatorship has tried so hard to infiltrate the diaspora. Mwade Mubiraba. The leadership of NUP is appointed by the president of the National Unity Platform, the legitimate and elected president of Uganda. And if our president has determined that the leadership of Canada is Comrade Brenda, Doreen and that team, those are our commanders. So we encourage you, we encourage you to avoid these divisions and we're not saying that we should silence you if you have an issue raise it but please move as a team move as a team let's avoid these uh, diversions and unnecessary conflicts which sometimes uh, get us off of the of the struggle that we are involved in finally ladies and gentlemen i wanted to uh, speak about the vision of the new uganda but i know we do not have a lot of time but one of the things i want to also talk about is you have seen the taxpayers' money in Uganda is what the ambassador has been using to pay Kenyans. You can imagine to pay Kenyans and Tanzanians to come and demonstrate. That is our money. She did not sell cows or whatever to afford. We were told she was giving $100 to these people, $200 and that kind of thing. Yeah. That money is taxpayers' money. Those things, when people are asking about Luboa Hospital, when your uh, relative back home gets an accident and they cannot find oxygen in the hospital, when your person, when children are studying under trees, it is that money that should be fixing that. So many people ask us, what is your vision for a new Uganda? Our vision for a new Uganda is changing our priorities, simple and clear. <laughs> our vision for a new Uganda is investing the Ugandan money into the people of Uganda because it is the people of Uganda who raise this money. So that is our vision for Uganda. It is not uh, rocket science to know that they are spending three trillion on classified expenditure. Which money ends up, that is the money they use. Many of you here have been approached. Uh, good enough, we have some media personalities who have always been approached by the regime. They, they come and offer you all the leaders here, Honorable Zake will tell you what, what they were offering to him. The regime of Genome 7 can afford to spend billions and billions to buy off one opposition leader in order to reduce the pressure off their necks instead of using that money to fix roads, to fix hospitals, to fix schools, and other things. So our vision for in Uganda, we have already said that if NUP had just the money that, we are, that Genome 7 has, Uganda would transform in a very, 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 very short time. We lose, ladies and gentlemen, we lose over 10 trillion Uganda shillings in corruption every year. 10 trillion. Muruganda wabuita obutabalika. Kubanga ziba sente nyingi nyo. Now, the other day we were saying that that money is just enough to tarmac all roads in Uganda. If that money was not stolen... We've been moving here. You even find a, a, a road in the most remote village, tarmacked. Our people do not have access to electricity in many parts of the country. So what we've been telling people is that it doesn't need rocket science. And I'm saying that to help you, comrades in the diaspora, because Uganda, 
tutute entebe ya fe bana Uganda je watu wa kubanga tetwagala kuona na sente za bana Uganda tetwagala kuata sente za bana Uganda tujana ku investing in diaspora ba minister ba mseveni ba vayo te wasobola kuata sente hizo ne bazimba marwali le waka wabula bazi kuata ne bagule bizimbe UK ne babitwala landa ni ne babi ne wano wenyini ogenda kwesanga nga waliwo abakuru abanene mu government ya Museveni abaina o properties nga bako esachi sente za muna Uganda so fetuka man sente za bana Uganda ze baba besonze mu through paying taxes tusobolo zikozesa ne tuchusa in CFA no lwacho te badamu kubabu za abuza ten UP te ina che imirirako mugenda kola chi nedda tumanyi che twagalo kola Tua, tumanyi Uganda che etaga kubanga bana Uganda je bali jo machirabye ekibade ekitezi nga abantu bafe kasasiro ebagwiri de nekola chi ne bavayo ne batugama anti buli mwaka babade wa spending a billion nya ku kitezi na yengo oli akola chi akalabanga ka side deal ke bazifuna so biko asena ku na ye chetwagala kola tuchimanyi uh, era katonda alina fe Pijachitukiria. Mwe bale nyo. Kwa tuliviza. Kubalete la okula musa okuva. Eli banafe avali ya Uganda. Mwe bale nyo bie mukola. Buli wabala baku streets. Nemuvai ne mprotestinga. Basa nyuka nyo nyo nyo. Eli mongele mwa maanyi. Mukama alinafe. Tuja kwa ambali ngule. Tuja kwa angula. Kolo unaku. Naroge na kola siya nelelo kando ogeleko. Tuesu ngolu naku, nga mwena mwili kunyonyi, ezenja ulo. Ngogama muno, jiba nage. Sikute, katute site, tuzimbe siyafe. Mwela lenyo, mwela lile dala. Oh my God.